Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to show you the ultimate face swapper that understands natural language and can do more than just face swapping. I'm going to show you how you can do these cool face swaps that not only retains the face, but can add other stuff too. I am going to guide you through this workflow. I'm going to help you get it installed. Basically, we've uploaded two images. One of the image you want is your main. The second is for the new face. We're masking that, and then we're getting the end result. As you can see here in the prompt, we want to keep the same face. Okay, let's figure this out, right? First, you need to build the workflow. We'll start with a basic Flux workflow. This time we will use the Fill Dev one. We can drag it on the Comfy UI directly. All the links are going to be in the description. Then, I make sure the model path is okay. Basically, we need to upload two images, one for the main and the second for the mask or the new face. So let's load two image resize with a resize mask also. I put all that a little bit in the left. I load an image concatenate and a convert mask to image node. And now for the size, I load an empty image with a concatenation node to create and convert mask to image with some blur. Let's now connect all the nodes.
Here we are at the last step. We need to load the main image and the image face we want to swap. I just drag and drop it in the image load slash. We now have to draw the mask by editing the main image on mask image editor. So right click on the image and open the mask editor. Then draw the mask zone on the face. And that's it. I type a simple prompt to preserve the face. And that's all. You can adjust the parameters like you want. Let's start a first task. So, here's the generated image. The image size is not the right one. I have to adjust this. It's simple. I go to the resize node and put key proportions in the method input. I do the same in the second node resize, and also on the mask one.
And now, as you can see, it is good. The image size is okay, and the new face look pretty. I place the images so that they can compare. As we can see, the mask is highlighted and transparent. The second image here and the result face. Let's do another example. I leave you with the second example. See you soon in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, keep in touch.